Hey good people, it is Tashara Politics and Fashion here today with the video that is all about fall shoes. Now, we have been in a series of content around fall. I will link all of my fall and pre-fall videos down below. Last week we talked about those major kind of five areas in your closet that you might be missing. Before that, I shared with you all the trends for fall, the easiest and most wearable trends for fall, okay? And so now we want to get into the footwork. What's the footwork looking like, sis? Okay, that is turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, what art thou footwork looking like? Okay, and so we need to make sure that the sleigh is from head to toe, from toe to head. And these are some categories of shoes that I feel like are gonna be very versatile for you and are also likely categories of shoes that you already have in your wardrobe. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Follow me over on Instagram if you want to see my face and some daily style inspiration and all the antics that me and the people that I love get into, child my god, baby Marley, and the tea that she be spilling about the fifth grade. You need all of it, okay? And Instagram is where that's happening. But in the meantime, just keep watching. Now, per usual, I'd like to talk to you all about what I am wearing. So, today I actually am wearing my brand new Christian Dior necklace. Y'all would have seen this um, in a Christian Dior haul video with my cousin and also at the end of a vlog from a couple of weeks ago, okay? I am wearing all bobble bar earrings in my ear. And also, let me get closer. This is going to be a weird angle, I know y'all, but I am just... I'm pressed, okay, for my Maria Tash conch or conch. I don't know how to say it. Okay, my piercing that's right in there. I also changed my Fort Helix piercing to a um, hoop there that is diamonds and gold. Same bobble bar earrings on both sides, okay. Bracelets are Cartier Just on Clue as well as the Free Maiden stack. I decided I wanted bracelets that were a little bit more substantial today because as you can see, I am wearing all black. Okay, shirt is asymmetrical. It is from Simon Miller. It's a nice rib knit, but it's a lightweight, so it's a nice transitional piece. Simon Miller does really good knits, like really good rib pieces. And so even if this isn't available because I got it last year from Bobble Bar, I'll make sure I link something similar by Simon Miller down below or other options. And then my pants are old. They are from Zara and they are a pair of high-waisted trousers. You won't be able to see much because of where the camera is angled, but I'll just stand up to give you that view. And let's hop into the shoes, shall we? First pair of shoes are Chelsea boots. And as you can see from the tag, I have not even worn these. I was thinking to myself recently, this is probably the first season that I have purchased a pair of boots so early. Y'all, I've had these boots for over a month. I, I think it was just planning like content that got me into fall wardrobe planning early. And I knew that I needed a pair of comfortable yet stylish Chelsea boots. I have not had a pair of comfy Chelsea boots that I felt like were really getting the job done probably ever. And so I was willing to splurge on these, especially because it was a brand that I had been seeing all over Farfetch last year as I was searching for boots. And so these are by a brand called, I think it's called Aid. I'm not quite sure I pronounce it. A-E-Y-D-E. -E. Um, and as you can see, it's just a little bit of a heel there. Not much. The side, they're, they're suede, number one, but the side is also um, suede covered elastic, so you just slip them on and off. And what I love as well is that the shaft is pretty high. So that means if I am wearing a pair of crop pants, likely crop denim, my whole foot is still covered, okay? You got the pointed toe in the front, as you can see there. But here's the dope part, girl. So I got these in a size 42. I have big feet. Um, and I was so, so happy when I got these because as you know, and this is probably like a big foot girl problem, a tall girl problem, okay? When we get shoes that are pointy, oftentimes the size of the shoe includes the point. When realistically, ain't nobody toe going all the way up there, okay? So these shoes actually are made to fit 
two sides, which means that my toe is probably about there. I'm not trying to jam my foot into this little small point, which makes the shoe so much more comfortable, all right? I see myself wearing these in a multitude of ways because of the slim silhouette and keep that in mind y'all if you are looking for a comfortable boot get one with a slimmer silhouette and I say that because you can wear it with dresses and skirts which is a major way that I want to be able to wear these sometimes with shoes that are a little bit chunkier I mean chunky shoes are on trend right now but sometimes when they're a little bit more like curved in the front or they're a bit wider it can be much more difficult to style them in a way that is kind of sleek and chic okay and that's the style pillar elevated simplicity that I talk about in my ebook that I lean more into okay so for me this was just the perfect pair of shoes I got them from Farfetch and I believe they were about $300 um, I will link them down below Suede is a material that you do have to be careful in, okay? You, you're not going to want to wear these in the rain. You're not going to want to wear them in the snow. But I think for fall and the fact that we don't get a lot of snow in the D.C. area, I see myself getting a lot of wear out of these. So Chelsea boots, Chelsea boots, Chelsea boots are going to be the first pair of shoes that I want you to keep in mind for the fall. The next pair of shoes might be a little unexpected. Maybe not if you've seen my previous videos, but I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a do something a little different. White boots, white boots. And now, before you even say anything, girl, listen, just hear me out. I used to feel like white shoes were for nurses and for children, preferably under the age of five. So I understand why white shoes may not be something that most people gravitate towards. But sis, I promise you, get you a pair of white boots. Get you a pair of white shoes for fall in general. We'll go through the other categories in just a bit. Here's why I'm saying this to you. As you are dressing in coats, as you are dressing in layers, as you are wearing chunkier knits, okay, the reality is those things at times are not the most stylish. But you know what someone cannot say to you? That a pair of white shoes are not going to do what needs to be done. I don't care if you are wearing a whole outfit from Goodwill, Salvation Army, from Target, or from Saks. You throw on a pair of white boots, especially if it's a monochrome outfit, especially if you're going to jump into that winter winter brights trend that I mentioned, okay, and you hit them with the heat with a pair of white boots on, there's nothing that anyone is going to be able to say to you because what they're going to see is someone who is incredibly stylish and you didn't even have to try okay white boots are it for me now this is a pair that i will link down below these were sit from a brand called inez i got them in a pair it says a 10 and a half but they are i think a european brand so in all transparency if you have larger feet this is the largest size that they make and so these are still a little tight on me i've stretched them out pretty well and they also have this like um sole that they have patented that is meant to make them very comfortable which for sure helps so if you don't wear the biggest size in the brain like I do I'm sure you're gonna find these to be incredibly comfortable the heel is only about maybe uh, a little under three inches or just about three inches but as you can see it's a pretty wide heel so it's not like a stiletto what so ever um not quite a full point in the front more of like an almond toe and I know they come in a few different colors but I love them in white and what I also love is the fact that the top of them is kind of like a sock um and I'm on the skinny itty bitty ankle committee okay small skinny legs and so because of that sometimes shoes like this can leave a lot of space here but these don't these actually fit perfectly which also once again as I mentioned with the Chelsea boots makes them really really good to wear with dresses with skirts with um, ankle you know 
flare jeans things that may show your ankle these boots look really good in okay so I'll make sure I link these down below and I will reach out to Inez as well to see if I can get you all a code previously they were giving me 10% off um, and so I would love to be able to share that discount with you thank you Inez for sending these over I think they are the perfect pair of white boots for fall Let's continue with the boot theme, shall we? Okay. And the third pair of shoes that I think are a great pair of shoes for fall are knee boots. That's obvious, right? Uh, these are from a brand called, I don't know if it's pronounced Shuts or Shoots. They are a Brazilian brand. I got these in a size 10 and baby, hey baby. I have never, never have I ever had a pair of sho shoes, period, boots or not, that have a stiletto heel that are this comfortable. I don't know what Magic Elves were in the shoots, shuts, um, factory when these shoes are made. Y'all let me know down below if you have any shoes from this brand and if you have the same experience. These were also given to me in a collaboration with Amazon that I did back in February um, and it is the only pair of black boots that I have that come to the knee and it will likely be the only pair I have for a very long time because it checks every single category. I think knee boots, especially ones that have a skinny heel, are just sexy. We all know that, right? Throw them on with a jumpsuit, with a blazer caped across your shoulders. Throw them on with a really cute dress. I actually, um, I'm styling these now, as you can see, with an oversized black dress that has a lot of volume to it. And I think the skinniness of the boot really brings like this, um, elevation and this chicness to this dress that otherwise could be a little kind of casual um, and maybe would lack this same level of sophistication. It's the boots for me. It is, it is the boots that will do it. I'm talking about a, a white t-shirt. Style this for you too. The Dior brooch, okay, tucked into a pair of high-waisted skinny jeans. This is where your skinny jeans still are going to come in, girl. High-waisted skinny jeans with the skinny boot. I mean, with the, uh, with the knee boot. You can't go wrong. And the great kind of part about these as well is the faux croc is the texture. And I say that because I am um, a, a neutrals lover, like Drake said, certified. <laughs> certified neutrals lover okay and so as a result what that means is I have to find ways to make my outfits kind of stand out when they tend to be all the same color or within a similar color palette and texture is one of the ways to do that I also texture on my shirt today you see what I mean um, and so these boots in the faux croc embossing really do the trick um, nothing else left to say girl if you don't have you a pair of boots that come up to your knee that have a skinny heel and it doesn't have to be as high as this look to invest in one this fall all right i'm gonna go to another very unexpected category i feel like the white boots may have been unexpected but was still kind of within the realm of expectedness for me these Hold on to your seats, okay? If you follow me over on Instagram, you've already seen my new pair of Air Jordan 1s, honey. And I don't know about you, but I grew up in the era where Jordans were it. Like, if you had a pair of Jordans, basically, you was rich, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, I don't think I even really went to school with people who wore Jordans unless they were, like, working, old enough to work and were spending their whole check on a pair of shoes. So... I think because of that and what they have meant to the culture, I've always been a little bit intimidated because I felt like if you had a pair of Jordans, you had to be like a hype bay, you had to be a hype beast. Um, but I've been seeing more people like Karen Britchick who have been able to incorporate Jordan ones in their everyday style and it took some of the pressure off for me. So I was already preparing to purchase my first pair of Jordans. I just hadn't pulled the trigger and my cousin went to the mall, hey Mike, and he got these for me. I literally tore them out the box and put them on immediately, okay? Um, talk about Persiana. I am 
so 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 excited about these shoes I immediately styled them with the same dress that I actually put on the knee boots with um, because my whole goal and I think there are people who do this so effortlessly is to actually just allow the shoe to do the shoe right to not think too hard about it and if I feel like the colors and the silhouette match to wear the damn sneakers so that means a slip dress with a moto jacket that means a trapeze dress that can mean a pair of um jeans and a hoodie of course right they can be worn casually and I think that's where my mind has always gone but they can also be worn dressy right they can be worn to bring a dressy piece down to more of a street style look it's up to you and as a matter of fact I think that people I'm about to give you some true tea who are able to throw on a pair of Jordans with a suit those are the people who are the style icons, okay? Because what they're saying is, whatever your rules are, girl, I eschew those, okay? What I'm concerned about is, number one, comfort, because they're going to save your feet, honey. But also, number two, making my pieces work for me within my own style of stay. What I want us to do is think about how we can wear sneakers this fall in a way that amplifies our style aesthetic, our style pillar, okay? And it doesn't matter if they are a pair of Converse, if they are... I would say a pair of Skechers, but I would be lying. What are other, cause I don't pull out no Skechers. What, what is another pair of, if they are Adidas, I don't wear Yeezy. <laughs> okay, this is actually devolving in the examples that I want to give you. Um, girl, do you, you work, enjoy the sneakers. Next up are boots and I'm gonna kind of put in the same category, okay? I actually have a whole video on styling combat boots and I shared these two shoes. I talked about the Sam Edelman combat boots and I also talked about these Bottega-esque tire boot dupes that I feel like are a type of combat boot because of the slimmer silhouette, okay? Um, and as you can see, we back to the white boots, okay? But the thing that I think combat boots are going to give you is that comfort and that casualness while also being stylish and being on trend, okay? Every season, designers are gonna come out with different iterations of combat boots. I found these on a great, great, great sale at Macy's, actually. I mean, if they're still available, I will make sure that I link them down below. They are super comfortable, and I was able to get them, I think, in a size 10 and a half, which can be kind of hard for us. Y'all know that if you uh, wear a size 10 to an 11, that finding that half sometimes is a sweet spot especially for boots and Sam Edelman at least for this pair of shoes goes up to a size 10 and a half and so I will link that combat boot video down below once again because there are so many ways that I styled these boots I think one of my favorite ways between this pair and this pair was with the black slip dress um, in my blue Sandro coat and I probably would like today put on my pink Bottega bag which I didn't have then just to kind of really allow for some pastel pops of color with the white shoes delicious honey delicious okay um so that's the combat boots okay these also I think look really really good with like a line skirts uh, tool skirts um, things that kind of have volume on the bottom I feel like combat boots are always so freaking cute I also really really like combat boots um, I'm thinking about like non-traditional ways to wear shoes now right um, with a pair of faux leather shorts and some tights and like a nice chunky sweater and combat boots okay now we already know they 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 can give Ronald McDonald realness I've already shared this with y'all, all right, with my fall trends video. Um, but I feel like if worn right, this style shoe just does the damn thing. I would highly encourage hopping over to Hilo Lux's page and seeing the ways that she styles all of her chunky boots. I feel like she honestly does it the best. And one of the ways that I love that she does it is with very, very feminine things. That kind of mixture between what the eye is seeing as a masculine shoe with a feminine dress that's floral for example it, it, it's just 
it knocks it out of the park every time for me, okay? So that's some of the ways that you wanna think about wearing this style of boot. But both of them are great examples of what you wanna have in your closet for fall. And then last but not least, let's talk about loafers. I like to think that if I was a shoe, I would be a loafer. I, loafers are like a rich auntie staple, okay? That's the shoe that you're going to put on as you show up to the Sweet 16 party for your niece, okay? You're gonna walk in with your Gucci loafers on, with your hand back, and you're gonna sit down, and you're gonna give your niece an envelope with $500, not for your niece to spend, but for you to invest for her in a mutual fund. That's the rich auntie vibe that you give when you have on a pair of loafers, okay? And I have two. Both are from Gucci, but I've seen so many great loafers, y'all, because I'm trying to figure out what loafers I want for um, this season. So I'm going to link loafers at all price points for you all. But look at this pair. Now, we all have seen the loafers with the fur, okay? But the patent ones, when I saw these, I had to have them. Um, now, I don't believe these are real fur. I know that Gucci um, and other caring brands are getting ready to eliminate the use of real fur. Um, so these I don't believe are real fur any longer. Nevertheless, they do still keep your feet incredibly warm. And so if you did want to wear these in the colder temperatures, you could do it. I also really love wearing them with socks. I think it's a vibe. Um, so I do that quite often as well. But what these shoes do differently, and they are so dirty, girl. Um, what these shoes do, I think, differently than the um, just plain leather ones are they provide a bit of an edge and also trendiness between the fur and the patent leather. And even if I'm wearing like a cute little, you know, easy everyday sweatsuit, I'm wearing a romper, I'm wearing a jumpsuit, I reach for my Gucci loafers. I'm wearing a silk button down blouse and a pair of jeans and I grab a bag girl and I'm out the door with a cute pair of sunnies I grab the Gucci loafers OG day one period and obviously and girl these shoes look like I have been <sighs> wading water in the river Jordan but cost per wear cost per wear I have gotten every ounce out of these that I need girl I have gotten them resold I have gotten them shined up as a matter of fact I'm gonna get these shined up after this video because I feel like they have at least one more good season in them. at least one more good season in them okay um this pair of loafers um and I should say these are both loafer like mules obviously because they don't have the full back um this pair was definitely influenced by all of the British kind of um, influencers and YouTubers that I began to watch a few years ago. And I just fell in love with this shoe. I am, as y'all know, someone who, yes, I have those stunt pieces and that flair to my wardrobe, but I can also be just pretty basic day to day. And I felt like this shoe, especially with the gold horse fit, has always amplified a very chic outfit in a way that I absolutely love, okay? There are a trillion, million, hundred thousand dupes of the Gucci loafers and so yours do not have to be Gucci um, but I do feel like both of these pairs of mules do something different in my wardrobe and also what I will say is um, what I need that I don't have is a loafer with a full back because I would like to be able to go into fall um, not having to transition immediately into boots and so that's the next thing that is on my list that I, sh I will share with y'all in a fall haul video coming I'm sure very soon um, I don't plan to purchase a lot for fall but I do want to make sure that that category of shoes is checked off in the box because again rich auntie lifestyle you're welcome and that is it y'all those are my one two three four five six and a possible seven if we separate the chunky boots from the combat boots okay shoes that i feel like you need for fall there's nothing else i can't think of it i mean obviously we can always put maybe like a pump on the list but 
you tell me that I miss anything, let me know down below. I feel like this covered the majority of the bases of what you need to go with whatever style pillar you represent. Once again, I will link my newest ebook down below where I'm talking about style pillars. It really is meant to teach folks how to curate a closet that they love and to shop with greater intention. If you love this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Follow me over on Instagram and I will see you good people across the internet. Peace.